Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the ladder climb. Every day we're learning, we're getting better. We're going up against the Chinese League in Division 200. About 5k, he has a slight advantage over us, but as far as ELO goes this these days, like within 300 is, is pretty close. Um... Let's just do a supply specialist. It's been a while since we've just gone generic supply specialist, and I really do like going for that kind of stuff. Um, so what do we want to get? Probably single target damage. So we just go for the classic opening here with a couple of snipers. And this is basically exactly what I was going to do. I think I would tuck these guys a little bit further forward for some reason. And then the ones in behind, do I want them in a straight line or not? I do like them back there, though. Then they, they join the battle a little bit after the fact. Life is good. I'm just wondering if I deployed them a little bit further forward, but I'm not too worried about it. He's probably has me beat on this one. The tanks will mop up my crawlers decently fast. My marksmen won't really get through his tanks very quickly. I just don't see the Mustangs really holding up well either. The Sledgehammer tanks counter both the units I started with. And he bought an extra one on top of having a level 3 Marksman. Like, he's got Tempo on us with the Elite Marksman. For sure. Uh, with a good front line with these tanks, I have to say. Uh, I don't know what the best counter for it will be. Because I do like going for... Well, several things. I think one of the things that works best for us is actually storm callers. Uh, just AOE damage onto the tanks. We don't have very much of a front line right now, which is a bit of an issue. But as you can see, we're kind of holding on just long enough. If he continues to get tanks, we could continue to find ourselves in trouble. But for now, we should blow up this just in time for a big shot. He, even with the debuff, one-shot my marksman there, for the record. So, anyways, I'm happy that things went well. Let's go fire control system. $50 for storm callers, and then double storm caller. Um, your range, your range. I mean, 180 is pretty far. I still like you being deployed kind of in the center. I'm, I usually put my item on this one. I'm going to put my item on the bottom one there. And we'll go for this rank up next time, perhaps. <clears throat> he did go for more tanks. Uh, tanks and what? And uh, enhancement. Okay. Seems fine. Let's see where these missiles go. They're going to do decent work, I think. Uh... Let's see them. They're kind of hitting here in the center. These uh, crawlers look like they're getting through. Uh, and we do have just enough single target attack here that we're able to chew through some of the things we need to. And storm crawlers are going to be pretty good at dealing with both tanks and with uh, the marksmen. So that's kind of my double counter for us right now. We don't have much of a front line. That's my biggest kind of issue or worry. I'm not sure what will do best for a front line other than maybe just going into giants. Fangs is always interesting, but not for this build. Let's just do a, a missile. Missile does 3,000 damage. You've got 5,000 health. I'm just gonna put it like here. Try and get a couple of those tanks. He went extended range on his tanks, interesting. Uh, either way, this one's ready to rank up. These ones are good to go. I like getting these rank ups wherever I can. Um, I feel like just getting more frontline units would be the biggest thing for us. Even if it is more crawlers. Kind of just put like a crawler squad here in the center. He's probably going to go artillery against me, I, I would say. I don't know. I think I'm going to put a crawler squad here on this side and here on this side. Um, and then I'll even go plus one recruitment and get another marksman. Just for a kind of like semi-future proofing, a little bit of anti-air if needed. He did go for the artillery as expected. He did reinforce that flank 
which was, you know, a good point. He's getting a lot of our uh, valuable units here. Okay, he absolutely won with that. I didn't want to buy a shield generator just for one bombardment, so I don't hate myself too much, but my god, does this... this sucks to lose a round. Um... It's starting to seem like Fortress is going to be the way for us. Just based on him continuing to build tanks and marksmen. Uh, Fortress will work well for us, in general. And then there's the kill. Good for him. Um, melting Point, Storm... Increase the shield strength of devices, I think, makes sense for us. Fortress, number one. Getting deployed. I do want it to eventually extend a shield, so I am going to put it pretty close. Um, I could also give it armor, but I don't need that just yet. Gonna get another missile squadron here. I have faith of the heart. Okay, he went for the static storm. Again, good good thing it'll do 3,000 something damage, right? So that is enough to insta-kill quite a few things. If it doesn't hit these guys again, we're in business. We're not in business. Uh, one, one surviving, just barely. The slow is pretty devastating on him, but at least some of the crawlers are getting through right now. That might be enough for us to just snake it. Mm-hmm. Missiles inbound, but just not quite enough. Again, the abilities that he's using, pretty strong against me, but I don't think we need to buy shield devices just yet. I'll give up a little bit of health to keep our uh, economy strong here. Give up some tempo. Alright, ranged is always going to be, like, the best. So ranged, shield, and then you go here. Now, we should be, like, just goaded defended here. Um, instead of... I'm going to buy one more squad of crawlers. Just keep them on their toes uh, in terms of messing with them. So I don't know what this is, like an EMP thing. Seems fine to me. It did break the shield, but we protected everything on that side first. And now missiles inbound. Let's see it. He did go anti-missile. Uh, he'll have to do more than just that, though. Because we're going to keep buying missiles. And I'm not going to get the damage upgrade on them, I don't think, because... Well, I don't need it, first of all, but... Also, the fortresses are really what's going to do it for us, I think. Like, it counters everything that they have. I wonder if getting sh armor on them would make a lot of sense. That or anti-air barrage, because right now the marksmen are the only thing that can shoot in the air. Either way, he's taken a kickin'. He almost lost right there. Um, and he's on cooldown. I'm gonna go uh, attack specialist. Let's get a whole bunch of rank ups. And fortress. Oh, you don't think I will, but absolutely I will buy an additional squad of, of missiles. I don't care. I don't want to stack them with this stuff, though. Uh, I think that I can potentially get a hit on these guys. These guys are coming straighter, actually. Let's do this, and let's put this missile squad, like, here. Interesting. Um, right? And then, yeah, maybe just extended range? I could buy a missile. We win this round if if this goes to plan. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Missile coming in here killed some of their units. Okay, they are doing anti-missile shooting. 
my big armor dudes are charging forward. Okay, they have things to shoot that aren't what they want to be shooting. Missiles coming in, they're losing accuracy. Some of the missiles are getting through. Not to mention the crawlers are not getting shot because he's so busy shooting missiles out of the sky with decreasing efficiency. Mm -hmm. We didn't even upgrade. We didn't even give the crawlers technology, you know? We just built a build that works and we, uh, we plugged on through. All right, 20,000 overkill. Let's see what that does to the ELO. We're not quite over 5K, I don't think. Yeah, even if we win the next one, we probably won't be over 5k. But we'll run it. Run it back, see what happens here. Seven players in the queue. I've seen this as high as like 30. But I haven't been playing as much as I like to uh, lately. Just trying to spice up the channel content. Like, I literally have Mechabellum like, booked for another month on the channel in terms of videos. And then I have, like, another 15 after that or something like that. So I've been trying to keep my recording sessions to Terraforming Mars and Terraformers where applicable. But it's just so easy to load into Mechabellum, run a couple rounds, have a good time. This person's combat power is 2,500. Okay. I guess we can experiment this round. Maybe if we are ever going to do cost control specialist, this would be the one. This would be the one. Hmm. Rhino is actually rated pretty well here. Let's try and make a crawler build work. I like the idea of going all in on crawlers. Oh, but he's got arc lights. And I, I need some anti-air. So I have to get some marksmen in the very first round. But uh, that's, you know, fine by me. Let's make sure these guys are actually stacked on these poles. And bring you back just a little bit. I think this makes sense. I'm okay with this. He went for the ability to recycle. Field recovery. And then got a rhino? Oh, he's got cost control. What, what, is he, did he recycle one of the phoenix? Oh. How interesting is that? Um, that makes me want to go, like, hacker build. Why is he going rhino? Self-destruct or something? Healing? He just doesn't like his phoenix? Interesting. He just wanted to play cost control. And doesn't... And just wanted one squad of Phoenix, because two squads are too much. So that he could go turn one Rhino. Because he thought that would do more. I mean, like, the Phoenix I thought were good, because I have Stormcallers, right? Like, maybe I'm missing something? But, you know. We're gonna kill his ground units pretty quick, and here we are running over. Right? I mean, he's gonna kill my, my crawlers. Good for him. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Even though he went rhino, I still want to go crawler. <laughs> it's, uh, though the best build for me is probably not that. It's probably steel balls, if I'm honest. But... You know what? Let's just do this. Um, and just rank up some marksmen here for a little bit. Uh, and we'll just get the uh, anti... The, the damage bonus. Let's see what he goes for. I'm assuming more rhinos, but... You know, I don't actually know. He sold his, his air units... He's, oh, he's getting level 2 units this turn. I don't, I don't think, I don't like, I don't like what he's doing. I don't, did he, did he buy some more upgrades or something? Like, is he saving his money for next round? Like, I don't, I don't really understand. Is there a spawn behind me? Oh, 
on level three wasps. Okay. Well, they're going to be CC'd for a little bit here. And then hopefully while they're CC'd, my crawlers are going to stand under them. I don't... I guess I don't hate what he just did, but I definitely don't love it. Like, I don't really know how I'm going to counter it, to be fair. I guess I was just going to go fangs. Fangs are really good at killing wasps. Subsidized storm callers. Big fan of that. I'm not buying them right away, but they are certainly powerful. Let's get our fangs. Let's go... Uh, Elite recruitment. I'm gonna buy two squads of them. One here. One. No, I'll put them. I'll put them right up there. Maybe a little offset. He could put a rhino or something there in the future. I mean, have at her. Putting rhinos in the front. Let's see if he he adds them. Okay, no, he did put the things over there. Cool. I mean, fair enough. He got me to deploy some fangs that I didn't need. That's for sure. Um, and he went for a lot. I mean, this is cool. This is cool. I like, I, I think he's playing some pretty cool meta stuff. Um, I don't know that I love it, but he is doing like rush builds. He's doing some air stuff. Uh, my marksmen are going to have a hard time keeping up with this many rhinos. I'm not going to get to like really focus fire. The way that I need to. I don't know. I got level twos. And he's cost control specialist. So, like, he's just so weak. Like, his units, right? Now, his arc lights, if they had survived, would have been a really big deal uh, for killing my ground units here. But as it stands, I mean, I think I'm going to blow up his base before he gets mine. Timing might work in his favor. We'll see. I mean, there's no way that these units can kill this many fangs. Like, they just... They just cannot. It's just not allowed. I wonder if Mechanical Rage would be fun for my fangs. Usually, like, attack would also be good, but... Like, you can just see the pew 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 pew. Like, he just bought one squadron of wasps, and he's getting me to invest this hard into fangs, which I think is pretty interesting. Emblematic of uh, some of the cool work that he's doing. Let's go super heavy armor. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Upgrade. And, uh... Who deserves the rank up? I guess I'll wait for this next turn. And, yeah, we'll just put the snipers... Actually, I don't want them to be too close to the artillery, because then they can get kind of messed up. Excuse me. Um, so, I don't know. One in the center, and one offset with these marksman dudes. Uh, and let's just unlock the arc light for now. Okay, he did go for some mustangs. Why did why did he do that? Anti missiles maybe. Uh, I'm not tracking, man. I'm not tracking. Um, I still think I just go for the fortress though. Fortress is such a good frontline unit. The problem is my units are getting so much experience from blowing up his units and bases. Like, I'm having a hard time because my units just keep leveling up. And he did get armor on his arc lights, which is good against my crawlers, but not good against my marksmen or storm callers. Oh, I guess they're good against my fangs as well, if ever they're relevant. I mean, I don't know, man. I should really deploy a squad of fangs on this corner, though, just to, like, get ahead of what he might be doing to counter me. So, yeah, he's going to kill my my crawlers as fast as he can to get on my back line for for reasons which i mean makes it makes a good amount of sense as you can see but i still hold up long enough that he's in big doo-doo he doesn't have shields on his units i don't know man i think if i just bought like elite marksman all of his his rushing units would die as well 
I don't know, man. We'll do an incendiary. It works like really well here to kill. He even replaced those guys. Weird. I just want to kill his uh, mustangs here. He's probably going to artillery me. I still want a fortress though. And I wanted to get a shield with that fortress. And I want to get a heal, max health. I do want to deploy more units though as well. So let's do that. I guess I could just upgrade this fortress instead actually. I don't know. Let's just upgrade the fortress. I don't care. I didn't, I didn't need to do that at all. It was probably stupid of me to do it. I just figured he put a bombardment down over here. He probably would do it on this side, though, because I have a marksman. Or an incendiary right here, because then all of my fangs coming in would be in trouble. But instead, he... I didn't notice that he did a mass recruited rhino. I didn't. I genuinely didn't even notice that that's why he had made the pick. Instead, he went for storm callers of his own. Which, I mean, okay. Have at her. Good luck. Oh, he did get behind me though. That's good. That's pretty good. We gotta give him credit where it's due. And a lot of my ground units are perishing. Uh. But he surrendered, because he absolutely has no way of winning. Oh, man, I really wanted this to go on longer tonight, but I don't have time for another episode. So, two games it is. Uh, that one was pretty unfair, but it means that next game, whoo, baby, we might be going to 5,000 combat power. If we can win it, and it's against somebody of equal skill level. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.